Hi, this is Nate with Keysoft Solutions. Today I'm working with AutoStripe, demonstrating uh, some more functionality, specifically uh, bike lanes and uh, the markings related to that. Again, these all adhere to the MUTCD standards uh, and are very easy and dynamic to work with. As you can see here, um, underlaid I have maybe an existing condition and we're retrofitting in a bike lane here. Uh, what I've used is a combination of solid lines and dashed lines to create this. Um, if I pull down the menu here, we can see we have the different standard symbols. We have the uh, detector strip symbol. So say we wanted that um, here. We could place that. These are just you know nice block objects. Uh, actually, they're more than blocks, uh, they actually have some uh, dynamic features to them as well. Uh, so let's move this arrow out of the way and let's move this a little bit farther in. Um, other things we can do uh, include uh, you know, these stripings. The, uh, the stripes are very smart. You're not going to end up with a half stripe. Um, as you can see, as I adjust it here, the end of the line is not necessarily where the last stripe is going to fall. Also, I used a feature to create this line um, by offset. So let's erase this one and I'll put it back in. Cycle lanes, continuous. And let's do it an offset from line. So I'm going to pick the curb line there, one on that side of the curb, and let's offset it six feet. So there's that object. If we want to edit it, we can just grab grips like that, and there's our cycle lane.